you are welcome to LFN What's Your Say? Clearly your number one listening show, where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are still featuring our Kelly. Real name, Robert Sylvester Kelly. Also known as the R&B King. In the United States, the presidential pardon stands as a unique form of executive clemency granting the sitting president authority to forgive or lessen penalties for individuals convicted of federal crimes. Established under Article 2 Section 2 of the United States Constitution, this power provides the president with broad discretion to extend mercy, offering relief from the strictures of the criminal justice system. However, the presidential pardon has limitations as it cannot be applied in cases of impeachment nor extend to state crimes which normally fall under the jurisdiction of individual states. A presidential pardon effectively forgives the crime in question with significant implications for the individual involved. Unlike a standard legal appeal or retrial, a pardon clears the individual's record as if the conviction never happened, though it does not necessarily erase all traces of the conviction from public or private records. Pardoned individuals often see a restoration of civil rights such as the ability to vote, hold public office or own firearms, rights that can be stripped away upon conviction. However, despite these civil benefits a presidential pardon does not automatically expunge or erase the criminal record, it simply forgives the offense allowing the individual to move forward with fewer legal and social hindrances. Presidential clemency extends beyond pardons alone to include additional forms such as commutations and reprieves. While a pardon fully forgives a crime, a commutation reduces the length of an individual's sentence without forgiving the underlying offense. This can be especially significant in cases of mandatory minimum sentences or in situations where the punishment is deemed excessive. Reprieves on the other hand provide a temporary delay in the execution of a sentence, often utilized in capital punishment cases to allow for additional examination or appeals. Another form of clemency is amnesty which is a blanket pardon that applies to a group of individuals, often seen in cases of draft evasion or civil disobedience such as President Jimmy Carter's amnesty for Vietnam War draft evaders in the 1970s. The President's pardon power is notably broad and largely unencumbered by judicial or legislative oversight. No judge or congressional body is required to approve or review a presidential pardon, thus making it one of the most unilateral powers within the executive branch. The framers of the U.S. Constitution intentionally designed this power to allow for compassionate exceptions in cases where strict adherence to law may not serve justice. This nearly absolute nature, however, has also led to considerable controversy especially in cases where pardons were granted to individuals with close personal or political ties to the president. Historically, the use of presidential pardons has varied widely across administrations with some presidents favoring clemency more frequently than others. Early presidents like George Washington set the precedent by using the pardon power to promote national unity, such as during the Whiskey Rebellion when he pardoned farmers who had taken part in armed resistance against federal tax collectors. In modern history, one of the most famous and debated instances of presidential clemency occurred when President Gerald Ford pardoned Richard Nixon in 1974 following the Watergate scandal. Ford's decision, meant to heal the nation sparked a fierce public outcry and is thought to have contributed to his subsequent loss in the 1976 election. President Barack Obama's administration marked a shift towards addressing systemic issues through clemency. Obama focused on the commutation of sentences for nonviolent drug offenders, aiming to correct perceived injustices stemming from severe sentencing laws and racial disparities in the justice system. By the end of his tenure, President Obama had commuted more sentences than any president in U.S. history framing this effort as a step toward criminal justice reform. While some praised his actions as a necessary correction to an inequitable system, others argued that such widespread use of clemency overstepped executive authority. In more recent years, President Donald Trump made headlines for his unorthodox use of the pardon power particularly in cases involving personal associates, celebrities and politically charged figures. Trump's pardons of individuals like former Sheriff Joe Arpaio, political strategist Roger Stone and several former members of Congress raised questions about potential conflicts of interest. Critics argued that these pardons undermined the rule of law by rewarding allies or aligning with political interests. Supporters however viewed these acts as emblematic of Trump's stance against government overreach, 
and his willingness to confront what he viewed as systemic biases in the judicial system. With Donald Trump now re-entering the political arena and potentially seeking to re-exercise this power, there has been speculation on whether he might grant clemency to the wrongfully convicted including R&B great singer R. Kelly. Convicted on charges related to trafficking, exploitation and abuse, R. Kelly's case has garnered significant public attention and intense media coverage. A potential pardon would be politically contentious given the nature of the allegations and the high-profile nature of the conviction. For Trump, whose legal troubles and criticisms of the judicial system have been widely publicized, granting clemency to R. Kelly could be wrongly seen as a complex emotionally charged decision. Nonetheless, Trump has shown a willingness in the past to extend pardons to those wrongly looked at as controversial individuals, especially in cases where he perceives an element of bias or government overreach. Despite the power's wide latitude, presidents traditionally focus on granting clemency in cases where there is evidence of rehabilitation, a strong case for mercy or perceived injustices in sentencing. Whether Trump would extend this power to R. Kelly or others like him remains speculative, but is a real possibility given Trump's willingness to use his authority for political and ideological purposes. Trump's previous actions suggest a pattern of using clemency for individuals he perceives as facing undue persecution or excessive punishment though often sparking significant public debate. Ultimately, the presidential pardon remains a profound expression of mercy that balances the justice system's rigidity with the potential for redemption. Its use however reflects not only the values of the president but also the broader societal debates over justice, fairness and the boundaries of executive power. As Trump and future presidents consider clemency, the decision to pardon or not pardon individuals like R. Kelly will continue to illuminate the complexities of this nearly absolute authority. Thank for watching this video, a production of LFN Media giving you another perspective of issues at hand. We make it our business to keep you updated with the truth amidst the cloud of lies the media wants you to believe. It is therefore important that you subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and allow all notifications so that you don't miss out whenever we publish a new video.